Today, I want to share with you five ways to reduce your prostate cancer risk. This is foundational and extremely fundamental. If you have any family history, maybe your dad, grandfather, brother, uncle, maybe even if your son might be dealing with some prostate imbalances. These are really critical tips. I wish my grandfather, grandfather Gallagher had known when I was growing up. Number one, a healthy diet is an extremely important factor in lowering your prostate cancer risks. One of the things we see with a healthy diet that is dense in anti-inflammatory foods and a lower fat content and lower inflammatory foods and sugar and caffeine and alcohol, if you limit some of the unhealthy items, you can concentrate on consuming foods that have actually shown in clinical research to be highly beneficial to the male prostate. Particularly, a variety of tomatoes contain lycopene. Lycopene has been shown to help reduce the risk factors with prostate cancer. Also, carrots and flax seeds have also been analyzed as beneficial to lowering your prostate cancer risk. And this is really important too because spirulina and moringa and assorted green powders can also be beneficial. Green tea, particularly there, broccoli and assorted sprouts. And I'm excited to share with you, you can grab a lot of the greens all in one good power punch in our organic greens. So I hope you'll consider adding that to your daily regimen. Number two, you definitely want to limit your daily and weekly intake of red meats and high fat foods, particularly fatty animal proteins. When men who show signs and staging of prostate cancer, when men are, an, when we analyze what their diets are, the men who have progressive prostate cancer consume more red meat and higher fat, denser, denser meats than men who don't. So men who eat lean protein and have milder fat consumption, they actually have better risk or lower risk factors. So it's really important that you be aware of if you are doing keto, you definitely want to add in some more leaner protein and really be cognizant of healthier, consuming healthier fats, staying away from unhealthy fats like safflower and palm oils. Those are definitely fats you want to avoid. Number three is to get out and get exercising. At minimum, exercising 150 minutes a day will lower your overall prostate cancer risks. And this is really important because outdoor activities, indoor activities that are moderate in the activity level. So exercising like jogging or swimming or doing some sort of cardiovascular effort is important in that staying healthy. But in 150 minutes, if we're looking at 150 minutes a week, I really want you to be cognizant of the time frame of your exercise. So exercising daily and not every other day is actually more beneficial because you can keep and lower your cortisol levels if you stay within a 30 minute time frame of your exercise. That's really important because cortisol is a huge underlying current in terms of the progression of prostate problems. Number four is to be very cognizant of your weight. Gentlemen who might have higher BMIs and gentlemen who might have extra weight on them, particularly in the midsection, have a higher risk or put themselves in a higher risk category with regard to prostate cancer. And one of the reasons here is if you're holding a lot of your weight in the midsection, sometimes gentlemen complain about the beer belly or their wives and families joke around that it looks like there's so many months pregnant, there's an underlying layer of fat. And that fat and sometimes the excess of weight presses on the lymphatic system and can impair the digestive process and contributes to a variety of co-related factors that contribute to increasing prostate cancer risk. So being cognizant of your midsection weight is really, really important. And I do recommend gentlemen be more cognizant of their overall kind of dietary lifestyle, consuming more of a lower carb related diet, not necessarily keto in terms of intermittent fasting, 
but definitely being aware of consumption of excess carbs that are going to turn into excess weight. So that's really important. And then last and final, most important here is to maintain regular checkups and regular screening tools or using screening tools and tests to analyze where your baseline is and then any variations or increases in your PSA, having a an every every annual every annual visit. So making sure that you're either seeing your GP, internist, or urologist, and having a digital rectal exam is really important for the digital palpation of your prostate gland. That that can help identify any cellular changes or maybe cysts or assorted lesions that might be present and and uh, are able to be felt via a, a digital rectal exam, the DRE. Also, gentlemen, it's important that you also consume or, or schedule an ultrasound. Body scans also, I put in this category, there are some more comprehensive, radiation-free and dye-free body scans now that you can choose on your own, kind of a la carte, where you can have a whole body scan, but part of the body scan will analyze the whole entire lower pu pubic and lower pelvic region of your body. Those scans can identify sometimes early uh, cancerous masses or lesions or cellular changes to the prostate by one millimeter. So it's really, really important that we go above and beyond just lab testing via blood, but that we have an ultrasound of the prostate and that we really identify and look at the tissue. Not necessarily saying that every year you need a biopsy, but there are a lot of resources out there that sometimes are not being recommended to you based on either your insurance or Medicare, Medicaid, whatever it might be. But just know there are a lot of options and it's really important that you implement these five resources and tips to help lower your, your prostate cancer risk factors. And if you're curious about more ways to lower your prostate risk factors, prostate cancer risk factors, or maybe you're dealing with a diagnosis of benign prostatitis, prostatic hyperplasia, BPH, or prostatitis, or maybe you do have a few lesions that you want to really work on eliminating, I have a trademark, the Prostate Fix program with an assortment of resources, digital guides, and even a masterclass. So I hope you'll check that out. And I have a special organics coupon code for you if you're interested in learning more and looking at working with me to help you lower your risk factors because you are so important in the lives of everybody that loves you and within your family, and we all want you to be healthy. So I hope you take these tips seriously, and I can't wait to answer any questions you have about your prostate health.